So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I'm sure that you can tell by watching this video that Winter Storm Harper is just pounding us here in the Northeast. I mean, conditions are deteriorating rapidly. I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. I mean, it's actually, it's not really doing anything. It snowed this morning for like a half an hour and uh, now there's just kind of like a light drizzle. I mean, I'm sure we'll get a little bit of snow tonight but I cannot believe how wrong they are about things. I mean, up until two hours before the storm was supposed to start, they were still calling for like four to eight inches of snow during the day today, and another six to 10 or something tonight overnight. It is unbelievable just how wrong they can be. And I mean, I know it's a complicated thing, but come on, you know what I mean? Two hours before, and you're this far off, it's kind of hard to believe. I spent all morning, you know, kind of getting things fueled up, greased up, plows on stuff, all ready to go, and uh, there's nothing really happening here at all. So big swing and a miss on the forecast on this one. Like I said, we'll get some snow tonight, uh, overnight, so I might as well just take a stab at it. I'm gonna say by tomorrow morning, we've got four inches on the ground. That's my guess. But anyway, since I'm not snowed in here, I'm going to uh, take the RK-37 out in the woods with just a grapple. I've got a couple cherry logs that have been out there for a while, and I'm going to bring them back. Now, I have to be kind of careful because uh, I think temperatures are right above freezing. We've got this little bit of light drizzle, a little bit of snow in the woods. Uh, it's kind of slippery conditions right there, so I'll be careful. Take it easy. Hopefully get a couple logs out. And then uh, tomorrow it is supposed to be cold. Monday, really cold. Uh, the snow, you get a lot more traction on it around here uh, when it's cold and frozen. When it's wet like this, you got, it's kind of slick. you got to be careful. But anyway, we'll head out in the woods, get a couple cherry logs, hopefully. Uh, I'll kind of feel my way out there. If it's too slick or dangerous, I'll just come back. But anyway, we'll see you in a bit. All I'm taking out there is uh, one chain. By the way, this is a 5 16 chain. I just got this not that long ago. I've got uh, several quarter inch chains that I kind of always use with the uh, 3901. I got some big 3 8 chains. They're kind of heavy, uh, but I think 5 16 is a pretty good chain for like this size tractor, you know, for pulling logs and things like that. Especially the way, you know, traction is out there right now. You're not really going to hook up and pull real hard, uh, but I wouldn't be able to break this chain. Quarter inch with this tractor might be a little bit light. So uh, I've been using this 516. It's a pretty good chain.
I am not going back to get the second log today. Uh, I got a little camera mounted on top of the tractor. I don't know if you can see it up there. And the battery died on the way back, but I got one hill there coming down uh, by the house. And uh, it was a little bit of a pucker factor there. Plus, these logs must have grown in size because I don't remember them being this big. Uh, that's a 10 foot cherry, about 20 inches in diameter. This end down here, I'll probably cut that off. It's got a little bit of a crook to it, but get a nice eight footer out of that one. Still in the market for a sawmill. Get a little bit of inventory here. So if it was dry or frozen solid, uh, when I went out to get that log, I probably would have went the whole way down with the tractor, just grabbed it with a grapple and pulled it out. But that hill was a lot steeper than what it appears in the video, believe me. And I didn't want to get down there too far and get in trouble and have to paw my way out, you know, stir everything up and I'd just get less and less traction. So I just hooked the chain onto it, pulled it up to where I could grab it with the grapple, bring it back to the Haas. Now that's a 10 footer. Uh, it was a little tricky getting between some of the trees. When I built that trail, I tried to make it, you know, wide enough for 11 or 12 feet, but there's places uh, where you just kind of have to maneuver around. But like I said, that little camera on top, I don't, I'm not sure when the battery shut off, but coming down that hill by the house, I have one hill on that trail. Uh, everything else just kind of runs out across the ridge. And it was, uh, it wasn't frightening, but uh, it definitely got your attention. Cinch the seat belt a little bit tighter. Let's go real slow, ready to dump that log if I have to. But as I was going down the hill, uh, it leans just the slightest bit in the back end of the tractor, you know, is trying to come around a little bit. So I would just, uh, you know, set it down for a little bit, lift it up, set it down, and just took my time and got to the bottom. These are not very good conditions to be out in the woods with a tractor. It's about 34 degrees, 35 degrees, actually raining right now. Uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, complete swing and a miss by the weathermen on this one. I mean, I'm sure there's other areas that are probably getting hammered with snow, but they just kept saying over and over again, you're going to get all this snow. Out the road in town there, there was like a news channel standing out there with their microphones all day, just, I don't know, waiting for a car wreck or, or something, talking about how bad the weather is. I haven't seen it yet. So my prediction is by tomorrow morning, we will only have four inches of snow. So we'll see. But uh, anyway, uh, I think, I, oh, there's one more thing. So there's two logs out there. They are, uh, the other one was down over the hill a little bit further, so I'm not getting that today. After that first trip, that's enough. Uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon when it freezes up, I'll go back and get that one. But I'm just trying to build an inventory of logs here, and I'm still in the market for a sawmill, still been looking around. This time of year, you know, I'm kind of want to have one by springtime. Uh, as the days get longer, uh, you know, you get home from work, I have time to mill a log or two in the evening, something like that. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and when you do, hit that little bell icon. You'll get notifications when we upload and share them with your friends. Thanks.